Understanding, Being Self-Centered, A Guide to Self-Awareness. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into an important phrase that often pops up in conversations, being self-centered. Understanding this phrase is not just about expanding your vocabulary. It's about gaining insights into behavior and relationships. So, let's explore what it means to be self-centered and how recognizing this trait can impact our interactions with others. Being self-centered refers to a person who is overly focused on themselves and their own needs, often at the expense of considering others' feelings and needs. It's important to differentiate being self-centered from having self-esteem or self-love. Self-centeredness is marked by a lack of empathy and consideration for other people, leading to behavior that prioritizes one's own desires and interests. To better understand this concept, let's look at some examples of self-centered behavior. Talking about oneself excessively without showing interest in others. Ignoring others' needs or feelings, especially when they conflict with one's own. Expecting special treatment or believing one's needs are more important than others. Struggling to acknowledge or apologize for mistakes, often because of a focus on defending one's ego. Recognizing these behaviors in ourselves or others is the first step toward understanding the impact of being self-centered. Recognizing self-centeredness is crucial for several reasons. It helps in building healthier relationships. By understanding and adjusting self-centered behavior, one can foster deeper connections with others. It contributes to personal growth. Acknowledging and working on self-centered tendencies can lead to increased empathy and emotional intelligence. It improves communication and collaboration in both personal and professional settings, as it encourages a more considerate and balanced exchange of ideas and feelings. Overcoming self-centeredness involves a few key steps. Practice active listening. Focus on truly understanding what others are saying, rather than planning your response. Show empathy. Try to see things from others' perspectives and acknowledge their feelings. Contribute to others' well-being. Look for opportunities to help or support others without expecting anything in return. Reflect on your behavior. Regular self-reflection can help identify and adjust self-centered behaviors. We hope this video has shed light on what it means to be self-centered and why it's important to be mindful of such behavior. Recognizing and addressing self-centeredness is not just about improving how we interact with others. It's also a journey towards becoming more empathetic and well-rounded individuals. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content. Remember, learning and growth are continuous processes, and every step forward counts.